Hey everybody, so welcome back to my video. I know, I know, it's been a very, very long time I haven't uploaded a sharing video. I've, well, basically, I've uploaded this video about why I major in informatics engineering, but then at the end of the video, I told you guys that I'm going to share with you about my tips and tricks how to survive in college. Okay guys, so this is the video that you've been waiting for, how I survived in college, Kansas virgin. Note, informatics engineering, okay? <laughs> So first things first, what I did back then, make a list of your goals and then you have to stick it on your bedroom walls. My advice, you have to write it on a big paper, at least it's big enough for you to write it down and you also have to write it in the big fonts or if you want to type it, it's okay, just do whatever you want. The point is, you have to make those goals since in the beginning of your first year, it's almost like I will set this goal for my four-year period in college. It changed my life so much. So why I told you to put it on your bedroom wall because you can see it every day. So if you see it every day, unconsciously, you will have this mindset over time if you keep it on your bedroom wall and then yeah so the second part you definitely have to find the course list from the first semester until the eighth semester why i told you this because in my case i have to be prepared like what are the courses that pretty hard for me or what are the courses that pretty excites me some of my friends didn't do this but well i did because the main reason was I want to find this five elective courses ahead before I have to choose it on my fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth semester. Well, I did search some of the elective courses that they will be offering. So like in my case, I targeted to choose web development elective course and then game development, machine learning, I had no idea back then. At least it reminds me that, okay, I have another courses that excites me. So when I was kind of down, like I said before on the previous video, I said that a lot of time I told myself like, okay, this informatics engineering is hard for me. I think I'm not good at this stuff. So I think I have to give up when I did that. I remembered again my goals, that's the first step, and then I take a look on the elective courses or the courses that I really like. That's the second step. The third one, you have to find your studying style as early as possible. Why? Because everybody has their own learning style. Like for example, in my case, I'm more of like visual person. Studying style is basically audio, visual, kinesthetic. For the visual one, you have to see. Either you can read by reading, seeing videos, photos, charts, everything you have to learn by visual. Some of them would prefer to learn by audio and then you don't have to do the practical stuff to learn. You only need audio file and then you just listen it. Or sometimes when you're learning, you definitely have to turn on the music or whatever okay why i tell you that that's because i don't know every people has their own learning style so for example i'd rather to learn by myself like going to the library rather than doing like a group study why every time i did group studies in the end i was playing with them or chatting with them i didn't do the homework or studying stuff except when i had my midterm and my final exam basically i went to my friend's kontrakan yeah apa sih bahasa inggrisnya i don't know i stayed the night i learned there not in my house i don't know why so in summary i just want to tell you guys please find your learning style earlier since your first semester okay 
The fourth one, please attend every classes. I'm not saying this because, okay, I'm a straight A student or whatever. No, I am not a straight A student. But if you attend classes, first, you get more exposure of what you're learning there. Second, you get to know your professor or lecturer. Basically, you have to get to know to the professor because sometimes they will give you some things or some knowledge in the class not outside the class so please attend every classes don't skip them unless you have organization stuff no 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 i mean it please attend every classes the next one honestly to say this is a little bit nerdy but i did this when i found that this course or this topic or this class is very challenging for me for example the professor is pretty harsh on you aka killer and yeah something like that at least skim or review at least a topic that the professor will be telling you about or will teach you guys about on that day or the next day so yeah please do that if you don't want to get caught with the professor okay six i know this thing is a little bit chill but please 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 you have to find your activity besides college, besides studying. You definitely have, like in Indonesia, we call it UKM, Unit Kegiatan Mahasiswa. So yeah, use that. Honestly to say, if you can do anything besides college or studying, do that because you need a refreshment. You can join the sport club or you can join the organizations and then you can also join the art club whatever what i did back then i've joined the martial art aka marpati puti and then i felt like okay i still have a bunch of times besides studying and then doing martial arts and then i've joined an organization called ieee institute of electrical and electronics engineers and also in my second semester i found that i want to get into this lab and that's <laughs> artificial intelligence lab so every time i just got crazy with studying with college and then a bunch of homework i went there to do some refreshments <sighs> bear with me number seven you definitely have to be good at time management how you can do time management if you have a bunch of activities and then you have this projects homeworks and whatever i would like to give this tips and tricks for you and that's with google calendar you have to install google calendar as you can see i've joined a bunch of activities and also i still have college and studying stuff do your homework or projects during the day why because you have this bunch of activities like lab organizations and other student activities most of them you will do it on the evening until night in summary i think i will give a link so he told us about how to manage your time but if you really want me to share my time management style, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. The eighth step, don't buy college books. This is like a money-saving tips. Just borrow them from the college library. So you can save your money for other things, not for partying, okay? Yeah, it makes your life easier and happier. Honestly, you may buy the books, but if you really really want that book number nine you basically have to network you know don't be afraid to be friends or at least ask your seniors what i mean by this you have friends like your peers your classmates but don't stop on that you can have your seniors in labs or organizations or other student activities just ask them probably they will give like tips and tricks how to face this professors or tips and tricks how to get a good score or everything so the thing is you have to ask them be friendly the last but not least please explore everything especially new things you're in college this is your four year of happiness slash work hard 
I went to college outside my hometown so I can experience a lot of things but in positive way okay don't get me wrong honestly I've graduated from college after that basically you will apply and have a job at a certain company you will have some workload it's kind of different with the college world which you don't have that full time like for example in work you have like 9 to 5 and then if you want to do something you can do it at night but I don't know why the vibe is very different so please explore and try new things like everything that interests you in college because that 4 year doesn't last long Okay, please comment down below what are the things that you would like to know, what would you like to see. I'm just putting this video for you to learn so I can share value to you so everybody's happy. Again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye! Sekarang jam setengah dua belas. Mau pergi? Dah!